Girls is Mrs. Walker. Today for our fluency lesson, we're going to focus on two activities. The first one has to do with finding the product and seeing how we can find common products between two factors. And then the other one is we're going to practice with our skip counting again. So our learning goals for today are, I can find the common products between products of four and products of eight. And our second learning goal is I can skip count by sixes, sevens, eights, and nines. So let's jump in and get started with our common products. So we're going to find common products between the products of four and the products of eight. You're going to write the products of four in a vertical line on the left hand side of your paper. You're going to write the products of eight in a vertical line on the right hand side of your paper. Let me show you how to start. So here you would go four, eight, 12, because those are the products of four that are on the left hand side. Notice how I left some space over here on the left because you're going to do something in that space later. Now you would write the common pro or the products of eight, which would be eight, 16, and 24. Notice how I left a space in the middle for you to have a space. And then there's also a space on the right hand side for you to be able to writing things later. Okay. So I would like for you guys to do that same thing. So go the products of four from four to 40 and then the products of eight to 80. So go ahead and do that now. If you need to pause the video, pause the video and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends. So let's see if we have the same thing. So on the left hand side, you would have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 30, 28, 32, 36, and 40. The products of eight on the right hand side would be eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and 80. So now here's what we're going to do next. I want you to draw a line to match the products that appear in both columns. So for example, on the left hand side, there's a product of eight and on the right hand side, there's a product of eight. So I would draw a line to match those two. Then I also see 16 and 16. So I would draw a line for those. Why don't you guys go ahead and finish drawing the lines for the products that match on the left and the products that match on the right. I need to pause. Okay, here we go. So I see 24 and 24, 32 and 32, and 40 and 40. Now we're going to write number sentences next to each matched product on the left half of the paper. So what I mean by that is you're only going to write a number sentence that goes along with where you have a line. So you're only going to draw or write a number sentence for 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. So what I mean by the number sentence is two times four. Okay, that's the second number. So two times four equals eight. Then you would do four times four equals 16. If I were doing this this way, it would be one times four equals four, two times four equals eight, three times four equals 12. Remember, because they're products of four. And then you need to fill in for 24, 32, and 40. So pause the video, write all those in, even the two that I already did and then click play when you're ready to move to the next step. Okay, so six times four equals 24, eight times four equals 32, and 10 times four equals 40. Now you're gonna write the number sentences next to each matched product on the right side or right half of the paper. So you're doing the same thing you just did, but now you're doing the other side. So I would write eight equals one times eight. And go ahead and do that for 16, 24, 32, and 40. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, so 16 equals two times eight, 24 equals three times eight, 32 equals four times eight, and 40 equals five times eight. Okay, so you're Paper or right board should look exactly like mine right now. Okay, so now we're going to write the equal facts as number sentences. So think about this for a second, friends. 
I would write two times four equals one times eight. So I'm taking those same ones that are in the lines. So two times four equals eight, equals eight times one, or one times eight. Then I would say four times four equals two times eight. Okay, so then you're gonna finish the other number sentences. So go to pause the video, and you're gonna do six times four, eight times four, and 10 times four. Click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, so then I would have six times four equals three times eight, eight times four equals four times eight, and 10 times four equals five times eight. So now we come to this question across at the bottom where it says, what patterns do you see in the number sentences? So I want you guys to pause the video for a minute and I want you to look at these number sentences. What do you notice? What kind of patterns do you see in these number sentences? Look from, look at just the first one, two times four equals one times eight. What do you notice about those factors and how they're changing from the left side to the right side? Okay, and then go to the next one. What do you guys notice in all of those? So take a minute to look and then click play when you want to share and talk about some together. Okay, friends. So I don't know about you guys, but one of the things that I notice right away is when I'm looking at the first factor, it goes one, two, three, four, five. And then over on the left side, it goes two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's like a double on this side. You have to double the five to get to 10, double the four to get to eight. I also notice that from four, you have to double it to get to eight. So when I look at these, you have to double the four, the factor of four, like the double the product, I'm sorry, double the product on this side to be able to have it to equal the product of the eight factors, the eight products. So that's kind of an interesting thing. I'm really curious to see what you guys notice in these patterns. So what I want you to do is send me an email in Canvas to tell me what patterns do you see in here? And then maybe that's something we can talk about at our next lesson because I'd love to be able to add it to the list of different patterns that you guys see. Okay, so take a look at the video or pause the video, take a look at these um, number sentences and come up with a pattern that you see and send me an email with what you see, okay? All right, so great job with that, friends. You guys did an awesome job with going step-by-step step to do match the products, find equal products, and find out how they are, um, what they have in common with each other. Now we're gonna do some skip counting. Thumbs up means we're counting up, a fist means we're stopping, and thumbs down means we're counting down. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start with counting by sixes to 60. So we're counting up, here we go. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Counting down, 54, 48, 42, 36, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Great job, friends, with counting by sixes to 60. Okay, remember, as you are counting these numbers, you want to be putting a finger up each time. So when you do six, you put up one finger. 12, you put up two fingers. 18, you put up three fingers. Because you're doing six times two is 12. And six times three is 18. So that will help trigger that in your memory. Let's count by sevens to 70. Counting up, here we go. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. 63, 56, 49, 42, 35, 28, 21, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and we can stop. Awesome, with counting by sevens to 70, forwards and backwards. Let's count by eights to 80. Here we go. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 
72, 80. 72, 64, 56, 48, 40. 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. Right on, friends. Good job counting by eights to 80. Let's go nines to 90. Here we go. 9, 18, 27, 36, 50, or 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. 81, 72, 63, 54, 45, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90. Right on, friends. You guys rocked it. All right, so whoop, whoop, you guys did a great job finding common products and skip counting. So awesome job with that practice. So remember, don't forget, please go back and email me some of the common um, patterns that you noticed with those factors and um, head back on over to the module to see what you guys need to complete next after that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.